Squad knows where to make the run. Quite cool off today. Something I think we can build on and use. This side was game I loved. That just willing Mers to get back to run, set his team on the attack. The times he did things in the game and it lifted the crowd. Little things like this. He should have had the crowd after this. He's chasing after them, winning the ball back. He should have had his goal really. Chris Wood should have fed him in it. I mean, it's on the plate to slide the in. There's a little bit in there. Chris Wood, I think, desperation to try and get his goal. But there is no doubt that with this guy's work, work rate, back post there, doing the ugly stuff, just making sure. Well, that's the other thing. Uh, mixed in here. with these deliveries, the hard work is put into the side, mm -hmm. which went all the way to the last second, by the way. Um, which is this clip right here, tracking his man all the way in. He could have easily passed him on, but he said, no, I'm going to go with Luca Dean, I know he's dangerous. Those moments matter when you're down there, and he was brilliant to me. And Eddie Hamm, I know he didn't end brilliantly at Bournemouth, but Eddie Hamm knows how to get the best out of him. Yeah, and Jude touched there on his, on his fitness, and I think Eddie will be, he'll be getting you know, all my fitness is better. For me, that was a, a huge step. Well, it seems like they're on my post, but Chopin's on there's a still on TV, so on BBC One. I felt they put more of an assuredness to their defending. There was more of a calmness around that, and that's the third clean sheet they've got under the Allen. I think it's massive spot for them. Indeed, uh, go off injured, did clear and trip here, so that will be a concern for Eddie Howe and Newcastle in the, the coming days. Yeah. The, the free kick was interesting. Um, from Villa's point of view, I thought it was strange. I thought the decision that Martinez made, if it was that decision, was a strange one. I think, as you can see it here, Newcastle got the two players next to the Villa wall. The position of Wendia is very interesting to me because there was a conversation that went on before. I think Martinez should be backing himself and saying, if this comes at me, I'll save it. But the position of Wendia causes a problem. As we kind of run this on, he gets up and moves into a position where he creates this gap between himself and the wall, and he's actually in line with the, the ball. He can't see the ball as well. So because he gets up and moves, he creates that deflection kind of area. If he's not there, Martinez just picks that up, and it was just like a strange decision, I thought, in the end, uh, from, from Martinez, which, if I'm totally honest with you, uh, it was a mixture of a bad performance for me. Fair enough. OK, uh, let's show you the uh, table before we go. Uh, Liverpool are now nine points behind Manchester City with a game in hand, while West Ham stay in four. Wolves win at Tottenham, sees them swap places in the table. Their uh, third win in a row means that Newcastle are now four points clear of the bottom three. Burnley remain at the bottom of the table, but with games in hand over the teams above them. Uh, well, that's it. Thanks to Jermaine and Glenn. Don't go anywhere, though. The Super Bowl live from LA is next with Nat, O.C. and Jason. Enjoy the rounds. Be the Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals, brought in there for the playoff game. Sadly, 